Smile. Wave. All right, let's go. You got the video on? You got the video on? Howdy, folks. My name's Crazy Ray. You probably remember me from Lori's Landing, and Charlie's in the pocket, and Peter's Pier 4. Not Pier 1 or Pier 2, but Pier 4 in Stewart, Florida. So I'm going to teach you how to make bread today. Picking up where we left off, we got bread, doubled in size. All right, close enough. Move back, please. Thank you. Put a little flour on it. Scrape it off the bottom, put it in the pan, flatten it out. Push it out like a pizza dough. You could also use this to make a pizza dough, but we're not going to do that. We're going to fold it back together and we're going to knead it for just about a couple of minutes. Get some of those air pockets out of there. See how you squish all that out? And then when we get done, we're going to put it in a pan with the oil. So I'd love to hear from Linda DeShong or Heather Few or who else? Johnny Basilino. He was a saute cook. Man, he was slow. He was so slow. But saute food, you know, when you cook saute food, you don't have to be fast because it's all prep. Stuffed, uh, what do we have? Stuffed flounder. Ooh, yeah. So you got to oil your pan. You can use any kind of oil you want. Don't use motor oil. Use the vegetable oil. And uh, I use olive oil. Because I like it. It's good for you. If you don't oil the pan, it's going to stick. If it sticks, you're going to have a problematic piece of bread. You'll have bread pieces, bread crumbs. How to make bread crumbs in one easy lesson. And you put all that in there. Put that back there. Oh, no, got to do this. You pick up your bread, you plop it in your pan, shake it a little bit, shape it a little bit. It's going to rise up and double. Put some more oil on the top so that when it does rise, it doesn't crack. And you will have bread extraordinaire. Oh! I also worked at, uh, oh, at Peter's. I worked with Terry. I'd like to hear from Terry. Terry Gross. Remember her? Terry Gross? Fresh air? Ah. So, so then yeah, you put it in here. Oh, you gonna take a picture of that? Okay, okay. And it's about 170. It doesn't need to be 170, but this thing won't go any slower. So you gotta watch it. When it doubles in size, when it's almost doubled in size, then you take it out, turn the heat up to 350 or 400, whatever you want to cook it at. I like to cook it at about 400. That way it gets done sooner. And I can eat it sooner. It's okay. And...